Sanborn picked up in the backcourt by the Roadrunners and a tap by Benda right over the blockers for the point. How to make the other parts work, and that's what McClinton did. Oh, nice decision. Jolie Sadler had an excellent defensive match last night. Six kills, a little bit below her average. Oh, nice block. Latke, McClinton closing it up. Backs it lie quickly through the block. The rural, uh, rural areas of Colorado, and that's Canty all over the net for the solo block. And the Roadrunners finish it off in set one with a 25 to 13 victory. Ball's deflected at the net, goes outside. There's the swing by Culver, she's rejected. Sadler goes to White. Do you see the elevation by White? With Miller out there. Latke gets the call. She had the most swings in the first set with nine. Oh my, Miller took a lot off of it and it was just enough for MSU Denver to set up the middle and a kill by Kelling. Roll that time by Culver. Right side, down the line, Benda. When she gets the timing, she is hard to beat. Court presence, just covering the floor twice with digs. Solo. There's a block by Kayla White. Service error ends the second set with the Roadrunners on top, 25 to 15 by Rose Olson. Oh, Ladke, did you see her? She stayed on top of that ball and just waited till the follow through, so it was a direct hit for the termination. Setting it up is Lamborn, getting it over is Miller. Rexis is there on, oh! Sadler looked at the defense, saw the hole just inside the 10 foot line and takes advantage. Leading that over Regis. Nice slide, nice, great dig by Chinchuli. Oh, roll spike. White elevates and totally takes the Griffins off balance. And let's give some love to Cabri Keating, the Fort Morgan Mustang in the back row, keeping things alive. 25 to 17 as the Roadrunners sweep Westminster Griffins.